this video is about using variables with chat GPT. A variable is really just a container that can be emptied out and refilled with something new. Okay, so that's a variable. It's really just a container. So when you're using chat GPT, you can use variables so that you can reuse chats you've created. Let me pull up chat GPT and show you what I mean. So the first thing you need to know is that every chat is its own little GPT. It, it remembers everything that has happened in the chat for eternity until the chat is deleted, okay? So you can build different chats to serve different purposes. So for example, so here I've said, generate a YouTube video for this topic. And you can see topic I put in brackets. You could also put it in parentheses or put it in quotations, just kind of separate it in some way. And it says it should attract young professionals and be no longer than 100 characters, blah, 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 blah. Now, every time I use this variable and I say topic equals, the chat is going to refer back to these instructions and know exactly what to do. So I don't have to keep telling the GPT what to do. So topic equals using variables in, in chat GPT. Okay, boom, done. Even included some cute emojis. Okay, variable example two. First, I need to tell you, I offer graduate credits for teachers so they can become more awesome and make more money. And so I like to give really specific feedback in this one particular time. I was really, really busy, and I, but I like to give that feedback because it's encouragement to teachers and I just didn't have time. So I had the alternative of just not giving feedback or I could use chat GPT to generate something that sounds very nice. <laughs> so that's what I did but I needed to do that multiple times. So what I did is I said, I wanna give encouragement. I want them to know how awesome they are, blah, blah, blah. So every time I give you an essay, I want you to, to follow these instructions. And so here's essay equals. And basically what I did is I pasted in the teacher's work and I wanted you know a catered response to that specific piece of work. So that was one example of using a variable. So every time I go here, I can use this particular chat over and over. I can just say essay equals, and it's gonna come back and follow these same instructions. So here's an example of one that I actually have saved in a document because I save all of my content so I can go back to it. This is for planning an event. And so basically I've said, hey, um, I'm gonna send you this information, you know, and when I do, I need you to identify the important information and then create this plan. So here I'm defining the variables. I'm gonna give an event name, an event type, a location, how many guests, the theme, a budget, and the needs. I'm gonna give all of that information and when I do, I want a schedule, recommendations, considerations, strategies, I want all this information back. And so I can re I can load this into a chat and then every time I give these few pieces of information, chat GPT is going to generate this full plan. And let me show you an example of a plan. So here's an example for one. It has a schedule, vendor recommendations, logistical considerations, and all of this information. I mean, it, it's pretty powerful. I wanna show you one of my favorite prompts, and this is the 80-20 prompt. And basically, here are my instructions. Every time I give a topic, share the most crucial 20% that will get me an understanding of 80% of the topic. So every time I say topic equals, it's going to go back and follow those instructions. So variables can be simple, like you've seen here, or they can actually be very complex like you've seen here. That's how you use variables. If you wanna learn more about variables and several other things, um, actually hundreds of pages of things on what machine learning is, how to use ChatGPT, how to use Canva's AI features, how to use Leonardo AI, how to write a good image prompt, how to write a good ChatGPT prompt, all this stuff. If you wanna learn that, check out my Etsy store. I sell this book and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of videos on this topic. I love staying on top of the emerging tech 
and I like to be at the top of my game. And so I learn all this new stuff just because I want to always have the advantage and be as prepared and as smart as I can possibly be. And you should too. If I can do it, you can do it.